Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to program your outputs with your RWL controller when you are in 5 position vent mode. Uh, so the first thing we need to do, we need to make sure that we are in 5 position vent mode rather than PID, so press the next button. And then it'll read R set, so press 443. And now we see R dash, which represents the 5 position vent mode. Now if you see RP, that means it's PID or vent saver mode, so just push the 0 button or the one button to toggle between the two. Once you've got the one you want, press the enter button and we'll go back to the idle screen. So now the next thing we need to do is check our threshold time. So we'll press the next button until THRS, standing for threshold, appears. Press the enter button. And now this is just the amount of time before it will move on to the next percentage. And later on we'll program five percentages for each um, proportional output. So right now I just want a minute between each one, so we'll push one. Now it's asking you for proportional output number two's threshold time, so let's say we want to do two minutes in between that one. Press the enter button, and now we're back at the idle screen again. And now we are ready to go ahead and start programming um, each individual output. Now the first thing to know, our day mode right now is set for 75 degrees, so it's starting at, at 8.01, but the m important part here is that we want it to be at 75 degrees in the greenhouse. So I'll press enter. So now let's start with vent number one. So if it's not set to auto, you want it at auto, but just keep hitting vent one until auto reads in the screen. Then press the enter button. Now it's asking you for your step size. I am going to go ahead and leave it at two, but you can always type in something else if you need to. Push it in, press enter. And now we've got our step size, so the vent one should open after two degrees over our our set point which is 75 so right now we should have our vent 1 open at least to percent 1 because we're at 77 degrees in this greenhouse so next thing we need to do is program the percentages for vent 1 so press the PCT 1 button now it's asking you for percent 1 we're gonna put in 10 press enter now PCT 2 go with 25 PCT 3 we're gonna go ahead and do 50 now number four, we're going to do 75, and the last one we'll leave at 99, so just press the enter button. And now we're back at the idle screen. So now we're going to go through the same steps with um, vent number two. So we'll press the vent two button. Vent two, again, if, you, if it's not at auto, you can keep hitting it until it is. Then go ahead and press the enter button. Now it's asking us for our step size, so I'm going to do a step size of five. So the step size of 5, that means the output temperature for vent 2 is 80. So if the greenhouse gets to 80 degrees, then vent 2 will go ahead and start opening. So we'll press the enter button, back at idle again, and then you want to go through with the PCT2, so percentages for vent 2. I'm just going to go ahead and, and scroll through these quick. So PCT1, 2, 3, and you can uh, again you can change them as you need to. Just type in and press the enter button afterwards. There's number 4 and percent number five, press enter. So then we're back at the idle screen again and now we want to check the hysteresis because we're going to do the program the heat um, one and two outputs. So press the next button until HYST comes on the screen. So there it is, we're going to press the enter button. Now you have the option for a hysteresis of one, two, or three and basically what this does it just allows for a separation above and below the output temperature um, to allow for more efficient cycling of appliances. So that actually went ahead and timed out on me. So if we want to go back, we can either hit the next or back button. So I'll just go back to it. Press enter. And now we have a hysteresis of one. So we'll go ahead and press the one button. And press enter. And then go ahead and program for heat one and heat two. So we're going to hit heat one. Now heat one, it's set to auto, which is what we want. Press the enter button. Now it's asking you for your step size for heat one. So we're going to do a step size of one and press enter. And now we're back at the idle screen. So basically now for heat one, it should come on at um, 73 degrees and turn off at 75 because our output temperature would now be 74 and our hysteresis is one, so it will do a degree above and below the output temperature when turning on and off. So now we'll do heat two, 
Press heat two. It's at auto. It's good. We want to hit enter. And now we want to do a step size of three. So go ahead and type that in. And so now the output temperature is 72 because our, our set point is 75. And it'll come on at 71 and off at 73. So then again, you just hit the enter button and it'll take you back to the idle screen. And then you also want to make sure that you've set the full open time for the vents. So this is the uh, total amount of time in seconds that it takes for your vent to fully open. So we can check that by pressing the back button a couple times. And now we see full. So press the enter button. And now it's asking you the number of seconds for vent number one, the time that it takes for it to open. So we're going to do 320 for our vent one. Press the enter button. Now it's asking you for vent two. Uh, we're going to put in our total time. It's 410 seconds for it to open. Press the enter button. And now we're back at the idle screen. So that should be it for programming your outputs um, for the RWL controller. So remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!